Market economies are complicated. To help understand them better, we can utilize certain tools like the circular flow model, which gives a simplified approximation. The circular flow model leaves out the government to focus on the relationships between businesses and households. Let's break it down. First, we have a resource market. Households or groups of people living together provide resources to legal entities called businesses in exchange for money. Households, in other words, sell the resources of time and labor. So the model shows the household's resources flowing counterclockwise to the resource market, where households sell and businesses buy. Meanwhile, money flows clockwise from businesses to households in the form of income. The other side of the model is the product market. Businesses offer products and services to the product market, and households buy them using their income. So once again, resources flow counterclockwise, from businesses to households this time, and money flows clockwise, from households to businesses. Just remember, the flow of resources is always paid for by money flowing in the opposite direction, so labor is paid for by businesses in the form of worker income, while products are paid for by households in the form of consumption of goods and services. This may be a simplified model, but if it's helped you understand the basic flow of money and resources, it's done its job.